Okay. Um, please subscribe. My name's Lucas. I'm about to do a documentary on about on a guy that flatlined um, for 14 hours, and he he got out of it by the grace of God. Right, here we are. 17, 17 of June, 1983. Alright, here we go, sir. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <baby. laughs> Name is Wolfgang. Yeah, this is a guy, very um, very strong guy, um, and he's still. Um, we are now at the Killer Killers Killer concert. concert. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's at the Emirates, Emirates Stadium. And um, we're having a little chat about how he flatlined for a good, good 14 to 15 hours or so when he came out of it. Yeah, go on, sir. Yeah, I mean, as I said, it was a car accident. It was on the 17th of June 1983, mm. uh, which was about five o'clock in the uh, afternoon. Uh, I didn't. I was. Yeah, he's yeah. just recording. He's doing an important yeah. interview. <laughs> you do the interview? Yeah, you yeah. Are you part of this trip? I'm, I work here, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's all right, no, darling. No, it's all right. It's all right. Okay. Okay. More context, we, more context, we, more context. We, we are just pure life. <laughs> yeah. And I mentioned to... Have you, have you seen Brent and Clever's close-up? Have you seen him? The who? Brent and Clever's killers. Oh, no, no, I like killers. Yeah. I like killers because I, I was um, I here at the boxing, I think it was Wembley. Yeah. And they, they use the killer's music oh, to, right. to introduce um, that gypsy guy. What's his name? Uh, that gypsy king guy. Tyson Fury. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Tyson Fury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, he's a boxing. Yeah, yeah, I was there um, I didn't, at Wembley. I didn't, I didn't watch that actually. Yeah, it was boxing, great. Boxing, it's not Yeah, it was great. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. Are you so, a journalist? No, no, no. I'm actually a security here, but I'm an accountant by trade. Say again? I'm an accountant by trade. Accountant. Yeah, accountant. but um, I'm just here doing security for, 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 for the... Security. Yeah, for the, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And yeah. He, said, he, he says he worked also at Spurs Stadium. Yeah. So he was there, for example, when Spurs was beating Arsenal 3 years. <laughs> <laughs> and I got a lot of... I got a lot of... Have you ever been to then? Never, never in my life. But I do listen to them. I so do you're listen going to tomorrow, them. tonight? Yeah, I'm going, to be, I'm going to be here tomorrow as well, working. In front? Right in front? Uh, probably. Yeah. Probably, yeah. Okay. But I don't think so. I think they'll leave us out here again. I think they might leave us out here again. Oh, they will. Yeah, they yeah, yeah. I, I think they will. This, this company called Carlisle, yeah. they don't care about us. They do? No. They will let you win. Once it starts, they will let you win. Yeah. I think you also uh, have got a vest down there. It starts really late. It's after 8.30. Yeah, what they do is um, people that want to go back out again yeah. and come back in, we've got to kind of like keep an eye on them and search them when they go back in. Yeah. So that's what they need us for, to stay outside. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. It, you know. it makes sense, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's only started at 8.30. You've got to play them, people will be settled by then. Yeah, let's hope so, isn't it? Take care, darling, yeah? Later. See you soon, yeah? yeah? All right. Okay. I need I need space. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for that. No, yeah, 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 yeah. So you was at, um you went out for fourteen hours in, in eighty three, was it? Seventeenth of June, yeah, seventeenth of June nineteen eighty three. Yeah. Um as it was following a four um, um, uh, an accident. accident, right, yeah. Car accident. Uh, I was driving a Ford Escort uh, taxi I had one at Ford Escort, the red yeah. one. <laughs> yeah. mine, mine was a white one. Right. Mine was a white yeah. one, it's a black rear spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> but it was just one point one. I used to love that car, Escort. I used to love it, back in the day. I had you know? years later, yeah. I had years later, um, I had, when I was already over here, I had an, actually another escort of the same generation at that mm. time then, because of the convertible and black and Right, convertible. right, yeah. So the one with the anti-accident was, yeah. that was just a normal three-door three door one, isn't it? Yeah. white one. Yeah. Uh, in all case, it was just a 1.1 small engine, yeah. it was not a high performance. Yeah, I think that was 1.2, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it had a rear spoiler, and right. that was the sportiest yeah. thing in reality. So how did you get into the accident? How did you get into the accident? Um, I can tell you, it was on a familiar territory in the outskirts of Dortmund, which is not that far from where I live. Mm. Um, there were two friends of me who in the car, and we had been visiting friends in a town called Hagen. Hagen, which is Hagen Dice. Yeah, you know, again, this is probably slightly 15 miles away, 10 miles away. You know, we're not very far. Yeah, yeah. And um, so, and it was a familiar road, so we had friends up in Hagen, which we used to visit on right now. We're coming back there, and it, the weather was mild but it just started raining a little bit first rain slippery up, road coming, it was a bit slippery coming down the hill then it was in the valley at the bottom mm. uh, a bend and then it built up to which is basically the outskirts of Dortmund itself right. the rest was the road so right. just on the other side of the bend yeah. and it's quite long and 
using another car, which was the Opel Kadett, aka Boxer Lasper, mm, mm. um, was coming on the opposite side of the direction, but he was driving in the middle of the road. So I tried wow. to swing Swerve. around yeah. to avoid uh, yeah. head and collision because he was right in the no, middle yeah, of the road. road. So if I wouldn't have done anything, he could have been a head, head on collision. So, um, I was probably doing, which was almost the, at the limit, so probably doing about 40 miles per hour, about 60 something kilometers per hour at the time. Um, and you were young, obviously. Well, obviously, as I was yeah, 20 years old. Yeah. And uh, as I said, it was on the outskirts, so when behind the road sign, speeding me was 50 kilometers. So mm. it was just inside the long time. So I was probably still just a little bit above the time. So it was about 60, but not, you know, a crazy speed. So um, I managed to avoid the head on collision, but at the same time was controlled over the vehicle. And then hit head on a part BMW 5 series. I do remember it was a car, silver yeah. 5 series. Wow. Which I hit. Last thing you saw. And I mean, this is this was in this service. This neutral objective. Yeah. Um, back in the day, Yes, there were seat belts in the car, but one was not necessarily <laughs> using them. Of course. It's quite it was also at the time, it was not legally required to uh, put oh, on Wasn't seat. it? Not at that stage. Yeah. Um, I mean, uh, seat belts were supposed to be fitted to the car, but it was not mandatory. It was not, uh, it, 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 it was not a law. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um, it was still, you know what I mean, they, they had to be in the vehicle, yeah. they had to be available. But back at that stage, it was not. There was no kind of, there was no health and safety laws around. Where were they back in the old days? <laughs> uh, so the bottom line of that is, was wasn't wearing seatbelts. Yeah. Uh, neither was my girlfriend at the time. Was in the yeah. um, so and you can also avoid health and safety. I've never seen that called escort afterwards. I've only seen okay. pictures of it. But what I have said to absolutely everybody after having seen the photos, if I would not have flown out of the vehicle, I would not be sitting there. Uh, just to put that into the front end of the vehicle, it was completely gone. The engine block was where the footwell was, just yeah. sitting right in front of the seat. Yeah. So anything in the head of the windscreen of the car was non existent, was pushed in. Wow. So, what happened was a, a three door hatchback. Uh, the doors to the impact were flying over on both sides. Yeah. Me, being the driver, I was flying out on the left hand side, yeah. obviously. obviously. Left hand right. Yeah. And then my girlfriend at the time she was flying out on the other side. Um, and then there was a third person in the back of the vehicle, which didn't make it. Oh gosh. That's so sad. That's so sad. So did they, they did but they didn't hold you responsible no. for the accident. No. I mean, it, it went to board, but yeah, because they obviously the conditions. I, I, I actually got, swerved. I got actually compensation actually from the of a driver. Yeah, so I got actually yeah, from the insurance company. Yeah, because it was proven that even though I was a driver of the vehicle, you have to swerve to avoid. There were actually witnesses, including that woman whose face I remember from lying on the road, yeah. and couldn't make it up. The accident happened just outside of the house of a teacher of mine. Wow. That was total coincidence. <laughs> you could not that's make not a coincidence. It, it, it was total coincidence. Yeah. And that was my uh, teacher. Initial, yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. And uh, from um, the. I uh, was basically in. The primary school education, teacher. Education, you know, education. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was a, a teacher actually there. He was living. He was living. And uh, he was actually, he went here, heard the bag. And, and he, he saw it. He came up, saw it. And there was a white essay, and there was a, a woman who was just, a, you know, walking. Okay. Yeah. So I remember her, so she was looking after me. She was just a pedestrian. Random okay. person. Yeah. Know, passing off. So, so there were witnesses. That's all what actually happened when you um, swerved around. In, absolutely. Yeah. And so the guy, Away. He got away. He got away. But there were, there was nobody got the number plate of the car. Right. Okay. He got away. He but it, but, you, but you, they, they knew what kind of car it was. I knew what kind of car it was. Yeah. And then it was a little bit. Nobody got the number plate. Yeah. Nobody did go to. Of course. 
um, it was obviously a silly, it was a very serious yeah. accident. And obviously I had a life changing injury. Yeah. My girlfriend at the time she was not quite as badly hit, but she was all to for a while. And, and of course, and of course one did. Not quite as badly hit as me, but yeah. uh, uh, also, you know, for a while it was not very mm. bad. But uh, in her case it was not a life changing injury. Right. Like yeah. But, uh, so the bottom line of that is, uh, if one would have worn a seatbelt on that well, occasion, don't tell me I'm gonna get, say on okay. that occasion, I would not have considered that. That's one wow. of the because you, you, because you stayed, because you, you actually left the car. Yeah, and apparently, and again, I have to go by the hearsay, I was flying 17 meters through the air. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to laugh then. I can see, I'm trying to picture you. I'm trying, I'm trying just, to picture you. Do you know what I mean? Hitting the car, head yeah. on. And then apparently I was flying 17 meters through the air. Yeah. Exiting the car. Yeah. Automatically because the doors were flinging open. And then heading on the other side, I was landing on my left hip. Oh, okay. And that's where the injury came. And I also landed on my head. On your head. Like your head. Yeah, and, you, and, and, that's it. In, and that was the last thing actually I remember. And, you saw, and then yeah. I saw this woman who was above me and was kind of calming me down. And then, and then that was it, you were out. And then I was out uh, until the next day when I was in the hospital, it was uh, triangular and between my legs. Uh, Damn. So you was out for 14 hours? I don't think I was out quite as long as, but I did flatline, so the doctors told me I You flatlined, flat yeah. So, um, so when, so when you when you flatlined, what did you see in your flat in that flatline state? Well, what happened was I saw, uh, you know, and as it's not hearsay, but I heard it. I saw literally my life up to that stage going in reverse, running up on my mind. Uh, that, that, that's a, that, that is so. I, that's that's unusual. I mean, I mean that's, a, that, that's exactly. I mean, that, that, I've heard what's that before. And yeah. I've actually experienced it. So from you know what, what happened very recently, yeah. when I was a young child, like in the years, as soon as I could find, yeah. um, I felt as I, if I would be on a plane, like in the right. Have you seen that film, Flatliners? Yes. Yeah. Which was afterwards. Which was later. This was later on. Right. So you, and you actually experienced this, this, this thing before the film? Wow. So, so it's a film with Julia Roberts. Yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah. So you, so you was in that, that state. Was, that was, that was, I used to be a fan of Julia Roberts too. Oh, I, mean, I never was. She had a big mouth. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah. <laughs> I never was. Uh, but but, but it's for the taste. That, but that, was, that, was much, uh, yeah. that was much later, I think. I mean, that was uh, that line as well. It was in the 90s, something, was wasn't it? 90s, yeah. yeah. Early 90s. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't remember exactly the year. Yeah. But uh, uh, that was actually describing something along those lines. So my accident, right. I think Flatline is a movie. Yeah. I was in the early 90s, maybe 91, 92, something like that. Yeah. So probably not quite 10 years after I the accident. But, yeah. Uh, wow. So, as I said, and I experienced that. And, and as I said, it was like, uh, I was feeling very relaxed. I didn't feel anything. Mm. I was like, you know. No pain, just. Uh, out. Just out, like, yeah. like being on a cloud. Yeah. No resistance whatsoever. You yeah. Know what I mean? And um, yeah, like, like space, you know what I mean? As I said, I, and you saw your, you saw, you saw your life sort of. Yeah, but in all things, it was a, it was all very very peaceful. When you was at, it was peaceful. So it's like you didn't see anything. You don't. You're not aware of anything. It was very peaceful and very quiet. She was actually dead yeah. for like a few minutes or whatever, yeah. you know? And it was very peaceful, very quiet. As soon as this whole went, I felt like I was completely out of the trial. Yeah. Completely soft. So, yeah, and, 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 actually, and then someone said... It was said, actually in a bizarre way. Yeah. Uh, not only a very peaceful, but actually quite a nice peaceful. Peaceful. Like you need to, you need, all the stress you had in your life was gone. Was gone. It's gone that moment and you felt great. And then someone said, No, man, you ain't dying yet. Come back and, and, and face life some more. <laughs> that was then the next day. Next day. So you got up. That was, that was the next day. So I woke up in yeah. the hospital. I think it was about 7 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. The accident was about 5 o'clock. So in the late the afternoon. Late afternoon, yeah. yeah. Wow. Because we were coming, so we had been visiting friends in Haag. Yeah. And we were heading back towards Dortmund. 
and uh, I know we will be discussing uh, eating some dinner, uh, mm. uh, you know what I mean? So, mm. And uh, as it happens, it's the 17th of June, it's a bank holiday, mm. so at the time, that was the day of the German unity. Uh, now it's uh, changed it because of the unification. And of course, and yeah, and yeah, and yeah. Back then, the 17th of June was the day of the German unity. Mm. Remember, there were two German states. Yeah, East, East and West, yeah. Germany. That was the same thing in 1953. So there was in the 17th of June, there was in Eastern Germany, mm. there was an uprising. Yeah. Have you seen that document, that film? Um, oh, it was on Channel, it was Channel 4. It was a Channel 4 film. Um, oh, someone presents is there a guy. Is, Da, da. Oh, I can't remember that, uh, how the song goes. It was actually a. Um, it, was up, it was about the East and the West mm. conflict in Germany and such, but it's, it's kind I of mean, a spy I movie. I mean, I have. I mean, as a bottom line of service, I yeah. have. I'm growing up in the West. Yeah. You know, I am not grown up in the West of Germany. Um, even though I from my ancestors, I'm not as clear cut German at all whatsoever. I can tell you it's against Austrian, nothing. no? Uh, nothing Austrian in me, this, despite the name. No, it's, yeah. uh, I'm, I'm born and grown up in Germany. Yeah. Full stop. And I'm still a German national. Yeah. Like despite living here since 1996. Um, however, from my mother's side, uh, the ancestors is. Yeah. No, no, but my, my supervisor, but she ain't, no. Okay, I said from my mother's side it's French. Yeah. And ah. From my father's side, yeah. guess what? It's Russian. Russian? Oh, I see. So you're actually born in Germany. I'm but... born and grown up in Germany. Yeah. I said, you know, from German parents, like the people one generation further Forever, back, back. So grandparents, mother's side, grandparents, father's side, were yeah. actually French and Russian. Respectively Russian. Yeah. Wow, interesting. Interesting. So, man. and you know, Germany's kind of in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so there, there we go. Yeah. So, I mean, if you don't mind me asking you, do you know anything about the past history of Germany yourself? A little bit. I mean, what yeah. I have heard about it, I mean, you know, what happened during my lifetime, uh, yes, I've got quite a good recollection, and it's also a history, something I am mm, in, aware of, yeah. Interested in. Not from far off. You know what I mean? Mm. But, uh, you know, let's say from the last century mm. onwards, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, people. Um, um. Please subscribe. My name's Lucas. I'm about to do a documentary on about on a guy that flatlined um, for 14 hours and he, he got out of it by the grace of God. Right, here we are. 17th of, 17th of June, 1983. Alright, here we go, sir. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Name is Wolfgang. <laughs> yeah, this is a guy, very, um, very strong guy, um, and he's still. Um, uh, we are now at the Killer Killers Killer concert. Killers concert, yeah, yeah. Here at the at Emirates the Stadium. And um, we're having a little chat about how he flatlined for a good, good 14 to 15 hours or so, and he came out of it. Yeah, go on, there, sir. Yeah, I mean, as I said, it was a car accident. It was on the 17th of June 1983, mm. uh, which was about 5 o'clock in the uh, afternoon. Uh, I didn't, I was, oh, okay. he's yeah. just recording. Still an important interview. <laughs> you do interview? Yeah, you yeah. Are you part of this trip? I'm, I work here, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's alright, no, no, it's alright. Yeah, yeah, more context, more context, more context. You know, just pure right. Yeah. Just and I mentioned to... Have you, have you seen Brendan Clever's Killers Ark? Have you seen him? The who? Brendan Clever's Killers. Oh, no, no, I like Killers. Yeah. I like Killers, because I, I was um, I here at the boxing, I think it was, Wembley. Yeah. And they, they used the Killers music to, oh, right. to introduce um, that gypsy guy. What's his name? Uh, that gypsy king guy. Tyson Fury. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Tyson Fury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the boxing. Yeah, yeah. I was there um, I didn't, at Wembley. I didn't, I didn't watch that. Issue, so yeah, it was great. Boxing is not yeah, it was great. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. Are you a journalist? No, no, no. I'm actually a security here, but I'm an accountant by trade. 
again? I'm an accountant by trade. Accountant. Yeah, okay. but I'm, I'm just here doing security for, 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 for the... For the security. Yeah, for the yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. He, said, he, he says he worked also at Spurs Stadium. Yeah. So he was there, for example, when Spurs was beating Arsenal for years. Yeah. <laughs> and I got a lot of... I, I got a lot of... Then. Never, never in my life. But I do listen to them. I so do you're listen going to them. tomorrow, tonight? Yeah, I'm going to be. I'm going to be here tomorrow as well, working. In front, right in front. Uh, probably. Yeah. Probably, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I don't think so. I think they'll leave us out here again. Say again. I think they might leave us out here again. Oh, uh, they yeah. will. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think they will. This, this company called Carlisle. Yeah. They don't care about us. No. <laughs> Yeah. I think you also have got a vest down there. It's not very really late, it's after eight thirty. Yeah, what they do is um people that wanna go back out again yeah. and come back in, we gotta kinda of like keep an eye on them and search them when they go back in. Yeah. So that's what they need us for to stay outside. Yeah, um, yeah, it, you know. it makes sense, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's always hard at eight thirty, you go to playing people will be settled by then. Yeah, let's hope so, isn't it? Take care, darling, yeah? See you soon, yeah? Alright. Okay. I need, I need space. Okay, I, I guess you have to have a good time. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you was um, you went out for fourteen hours in in eighty three, was it? Seventeenth of June, yeah, seventeenth right. of June, nineteen eighty three. Yeah. yeah. Um, as it was following a full, um, um, uh, accident. an accident, right? Yeah. Car accident. Uh, I was driving a Ford Escort. Uh, at I had one little Ford Escort, the red yeah. one. <laughs> yeah. mine, mine was a white one. Right. <laughs> mine was a white yeah. one. It's a black rear spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> but it was just one point. I used to love that car Escort. I used to love it back in the day. I had you know? years later. Yeah. I had years later. Um, I had, when I was already over here, I had an, actually another Escort of the same generation. At mm. that time, then it was a convertible, black and Right, convertible. right. Yeah. So the one with the anti accident was, yeah. that was just a normal three door, three door one, isn't it? Yeah. white one. Yeah. Uh, in all cases, it was just a 1.1 small engine, yeah. it's not a hyper-cooler. I think that was 1.2, yeah. 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 And it had a rear spoiler, a right. type of course, the sportiest yeah. thing in reality. So how did you get into the accident? How did you get into the accident? Um, I can tell you, it was on a familiar territory in the outskirts of Dortmund, which is not that far from where I live. Mm. Um, there were two friends of me who in the car. And we have been visiting friends in a town called Hagen. Hagen. Which is also Hagen Dice. Familiar. You know, again, this is probably it's like 15 miles away, 10 miles away. You know, we're not very far. Yeah, yeah. And um, so, and it was a familiar road. So we had friends up in Hagen, which we used to visit on right now. We're coming back there, and it, the weather was mild, but it just started raining a little bit. First rain Slippery road. It was a bit slippery. Coming down the hill, then it was in the valley at the bottom, mm. uh, a bend, and then it built up to which is basically the outskirts of the road itself, right. whereas with the roads right. are just on the other side of the bend. Yeah. And it's quite long. And then another car, which was a corporate cadet, aka Box Alaska, mm. Mm. Um, was coming on the opposite side of the direction, but he was driving in the middle of the road. So I tried. Wow. To Swerve, around yeah. to avoid uh, yeah. a head-on collision because he was right in the no, middle yeah, of the road. road. So if I wouldn't have done anything, it would have been a head-on head -on collision. So, um, I was probably doing, uh, which was almost the, at the limit, so probably doing about 40 miles per hour, about 60 something kilometers per hour at the time. Um, and you were young, obviously. Well, obviously, as I was yeah, 20 years old. Yeah. And uh, as I said, it was on the outskirts, so when behind the road sign, speeding me was 50 kilometers, so mm. it was just inside the road line. So I was probably still just a little bit above that, so it was about 60, but not, you know, a crazy speed. So um, I managed to avoid the head on collision, but at the same time, was pretty far over the vehicle. And then hit on the part. BMW 5 Series. I do remember it was a car, Silver yeah. 5 Series, wow. which I hit. Last thing you saw. And I mean, this is what it is, so it's just neutral and objective. Yeah. Um, back in the day, yes, there were seat belts in the car, but one was not necessarily <laughs> using them. Of course. Well, it was also at time, it was not legally required to uh, put oh, wasn't it? Not at that stage. Yeah. Um, I mean, uh, seatbelts were supposed to be fitted to the car, 
but it was not mandatory. It was not a, 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 it was it was not a law, yeah. Well. No. Um, it was still, you know what I mean, they, they had to be in the vehicle, yeah. they had to be available, but back at that stage, it was not there, there was no kind of There was no health and safety laws around, were, were there, back in the old days? Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so the bottom line of that is was wasn't wearing seatbelts. Yeah. Uh, neither was my girlfriend at the time of some fancy. Yeah. Um, so and you can also watch health and safety. I've never seen that called escort afterwards. I've only seen okay. pictures of it. But what I have said to absolutely everybody after having seen the photos, if I would not have flown out of the vehicle, I would not be sitting there. Just to put that into the front end of the vehicle was completely washed. Squashed the in. engine block was where the footwell was, just yeah. sitting right from the seat. Yeah. So anything in the head of the windscreen of the car was non existent, was pushed in. Wow. So, what happened was a, a three door hatchback, uh, the doors to the impact were flying open on both sides. Yeah. Me, being the driver, I was flying out on the left hand side. Yeah. Obviously. obviously. Left -hand yeah. And then my girlfriend at the time she was flying out with the other side. Um, and then there was a third person in the back of the vehicle which didn't make it. Oh gosh, that's so sad. That's so sad. So they, they, did, but they didn't hold you responsible no. for the accident? No. I mean, it, it went to board, but. Yeah, because they uh, obviously the conditions. I, I, I actually got, swerved. I got actual compensation actually. From there, of a driver. Yeah, so I got actually from the insurance company. Yeah. Because it was proven that even though I was the driver of the vehicle, you have to swerve to avoid. There were actually witnesses, including that woman whose face I remember from lying on the road. Yeah. Road. And I couldn't make it up. The accident happened just outside of the house of a teacher of mine. Wow. That was total coincidence. <laughs> you could not That's make it. It, it was total coincidence. Yeah. And this was my uh, uh, teacher. Initial, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. And uh, from um, the, I was basically in the primary school teacher. Education, high, you know, education. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it was a, a teacher actually there. He was living. He was living there. And uh, he was actually he went here at the back. And, and he, he saw it. He came saw, up. And there saw was it. a guy as it, and there was a, a woman who was just a you know walking okay. yeah so i remember her so she was looking after me she was just a pedestrian random okay. person yeah know, passing off and so, so there were witnesses that's all what actually happened when you um, swerved around even, absolutely yeah. even though the guy got away he got away he got away but there were, there was nobody got the number plate of the car right okay he got away he but, it's, but, you, but you, they, they knew what kind of car it was i knew what kind of car it was yeah. and it was a little bit nobody got the number plate yeah of course and, and of course one did not quite as badly hit as me but yeah. uh, uh, also you know for a while was mm. but, uh, in her case it was not a life-changing injury right like yeah. but, uh, so the bottom line of that is uh, if one would have worn a seatbelt on that well, occasion on okay. that occasion I would not have been sitting that's one wow. of the because you, you, because you stayed, because you, you actually left the car. Yeah, and apparently, and again, I have to go by the hearsay. I was flying 17 meters through the air. <laughs> you have to laugh, there. Like, I'm trying to picture you. I'm trying, I'm trying to picture you. Do you know what I mean? Hitting the car. Head yeah. On, and then apparently, I was flying 17 meters through the air. Yeah. Exiting the car. Yes. Yeah. Automatically, because the doors were flinging open, and then heading on the other side, I was landing on my left hip. Oh, okay. And that's where the injury came. And I also landed on my head. On your head, like your head. Yeah, and you. And, and, that's it. In, and that was the last thing actually I remember. And, saw, and then yeah. I saw this woman who was above me and was kind of calming me down. And then, and then that was it. You was out. And then I was out uh, until the next day when I was in the hospital. It was uh, triangular and between my legs. So you was out for 14 hours? I don't think I was out quite as long as, but I did flatline, so the doctors told me I did You flatlined, yeah. So, um, I did flatline. 
So when, so when you when you flatlines, what did you see in your flat in that flatline state? Well, what would happen was I saw, you know, and as it's not hearsay, but I heard it. I saw literally my life up to that stage going in the world, running up on my mind. That, that, that's a, that, that is so, I, that's, that's unusual. I mean, I mean that's, a, that, that's exactly, I mean, that, that, I've heard all that before. Yeah. I've actually experienced it. So, from, you know, what, what happened very recently, yeah. when I was a young child, like in the years, as soon as I could find yeah. it, and I felt as I, if I would be on a throne, like, you know, right. have, you, have you seen that film, Flatliners? Yes. Yeah. Which was afterwards. Which was later. Which was later on. Right. So you, and you actually experienced this, this this thing before the film. Wow. So. This was a film with Julia Roberts. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So you. So you was in that, that state. Was, that was, that was, I used to be a fan of Julia Roberts too. Oh, I, mean, I, never was, yeah, <laughs> I never was. She had big mouth. I never was. But it's for the taste. That was, that was much. Uh, yeah. That was much later. I mean, that was in the flatline. Well. It was in the 90s, something, wasn't it? 90s, yeah, yeah. early 90s. Yeah. And I don't remember exactly the year. Yeah. But uh, uh, that was actually describing something along those lines. So my accident, right. I think Flatline is a movie. Yeah. That was in the early 90s, maybe 91, 92, something like that. Yeah. So probably not quite 10 years after actually accident. Yeah. Uh, wow. So, as I said, and I experienced that. And, and as I said, it was like. Uh, I was feeling very relaxed, I didn't feel anything, mm. it was like, you know... No pain, just no, out. Just out, like, yeah. like being on a crawl, yeah. no resistance whatsoever, you know yeah. what I mean? And, uh, yeah, like, like space, you know what I mean? As I said, I, and you saw, your, was, you, saw, you, you saw your life sort of... Yeah, but in all things, it was, a, it was all very, very peaceful. When you was at it was peaceful. So it's like you didn't see anything, you don't you're not aware of anything. It was very peaceful and very quiet. So you was actually dead yeah. for like a few minutes or whatever, yeah. you know? And it was very peaceful, very quiet. As soon as it's all over, I felt like I was completely quiet, you know? Yeah. Completely soft and quiet, you know, and everything. So and, and, and then someone said actually in a bizarre way. Yeah. Uh, not only a very peaceful, but a nice peaceful. peaceful. So you need to, you need all the stress you had in your life was gone. Was gone. It was gone that moment, and you felt great. And then someone said, "No, man, you ain't dying yet. Come back and, and face life some more." <laughs> that was then the next day. Next day, so you got up. That was the, that was the next day. So I woke up saying, yeah. I, was gonna, I, said, I, "I think it was about seven o'clock in the morning. Yeah. The accident was about five o'clock. So in the late the afternoon. Late afternoon. Yeah." yeah. Wow. Because we were coming, so we had been visiting friends in Hagen. Yeah. And we were heading back towards Dortmund. And uh, I know we were probably discussing uh, getting some dinner. Uh, uh, mm. You know what I mean? So, mm. And uh, as it happened, the 17th of June it was a bank holiday. Mm. So at the time, that was the day of the German unity. Uh, now it's they changed it because of the unification. And of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Back then, the 17th of June was the day of the German unity. Mm. Remember, there were two German states. Yeah, East West and West, yeah. Germany. That was the same thing in 1953. So there was a, the 17th of June, there was in Eastern Germany, mm. there was an uprising. Yeah. Uh, Have you seen that document, that film? Um, oh, it was on Channel, it was Channel 4. It was a Channel 4 film. Um, oh, someone presents. It was a, a guy. Yeah, da, da. Oh, I can't remember that, uh, how the song goes. It was actually a. Um, it, was up, it was about the East and the West mm. conflict in Germany and such, but it's, it's kind I of a spy the, movie. I mean, I have. I mean, as a bottom line of service, I yeah. have. I'm growing up in the West. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm growing up in the West of Germany. Um, even though I my ancestors, I'm not as clear cut German at all whatsoever. I can tell you it's again. It's Austrian, not, no? Uh, nothing Austrian in me, this, despite the name. No, it's, yeah. uh, I mean, I'm born and grown up in Germany. Yeah. Full stop. And I'm still a German national. Yeah. Like that, well. Despite living here since 1996. Um, however, from my mother's side, uh, the ancestors is. Yeah. Um, no, no, no. My, my supervisor, but she ain't. No. 
Okay, I said from my mother's side it's French. Yeah. Ah. From my father's side, yeah. guess what? It's Russian. Russian? Oh, I see. So you're actually born in Germany. I'm but... born and grown up in Germany. Yeah. And I said, you know, from German parents, like if you go one generation further, further back, back, so grandparents, mother's side, grandparents, father's side, they yeah. were actually French and Russian. Respectively Russian. Yeah. Wow, interesting. Interesting. So, and you know, Germany's kind of in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so there, there we go. Yeah. So, I mean, if you don't mind me asking you, do you know anything about the past history of Germany yourself? A little bit. I mean, what yeah. I have heard about it, I mean, you know, what happened during my lifetime, uh, yes, I've got quite a good recollection, and it's also history is something I am mm, interested, aware of, yeah. interested in. Not from far off. You know what I mean? Mm. That, uh, you know, let's say from the last century mm. onwards, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, 